Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet. If you're liking my videos so far, I have so many more videos coming soon. I know I haven't posted in a while, um, ever since Christmas, so the end of Vlogmas, because I did post 25 videos in December. And yeah, this is the first video of 2022. So excited. Today's video is a very requested video. I am going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the Revlon Plus and the Revlon Root Booster. I am going to be using the Revlon Plus in the medium heat setting, which is a lot more gentle than the high heat setting. And I'm going to be using it on this side, which is my least curly side. And then I'm going to leave the more curly side to the root booster because this brush is smaller and it can get a little bit closer to the roots. So I think I'm going to get a nicer finish with this one. I have been using the Revlon Plus a lot lately. And I'll be honest with you guys, I've been using it in the medium heat setting. I've been using it maybe for about a month or so now, maybe like two months. I haven't even been using the T3 Micro Airbrush Duo. I haven't been using really like the Dyson to blow my hair either. I've just been using the Revlon just to really see if it's like less damaging now with the medium heat setting. And honestly, I don't feel like it's that much like less damaging <laughs> than the original i feel like it's almost about the same and i don't know lately my hair has been feeling a little bit more dry and i don't know if i'm too crazy about the revlon plus i don't know i feel like my hair has been a little bit more damaged lately but anyways i'm gonna blow out my hair and let's see how my hair turns out and let's see which side looks better um i use this prepping spray the IGK good behavior 41 prep spray I love it so I'm gonna do this side in the medium heat setting with the Revlon plus and then I'm gonna move on to this side and let's see which side looks better So here's the first section with the plus and I mean it's pretty impressive how quickly this dries my hair even in the medium heat setting. I like it like as a first impressions I'm just using it like a couple times but once you use it a lot like and once you use it as like your go-to blow dryer for months then you start to kind of notice a difference on your hair. I mean I was using the T3 Micro Airbrush Duo for like six months straight um, as like my go-to blow dryer and I was able to even curl my hair like leave my hair natural and my curls would bounce back because my hair was not getting damaged at all so yeah it's a big difference um, when you use like the T3 Micro Airbrush Duo the Dyson Airwrap compared to the Revlon Plus um, but anyways I'll be back with the final look I'm gonna do this side and then I'm gonna do the other side Alright guys, I am done with the Revlon Plus side and this is what it looks like. As you can see, I mean it is very sleek. Um, it's just like a very sleek blowout. It is a nice blowout, but I feel like over time it does damages your hair a little bit. I do like this a lot more than the original Revlon and I like the medium heat setting a lot more than the high heat setting. I feel like it is a little bit more gentle on my hair, but overall I don't feel like this is my go-to blow dryer because over time it is going to damage my hair anyways so I prefer to use one that's a lot more gentle like the T3 Micro Airbrush Duo or the Dyson Airwrap and maybe just touch up my roots with a straightener I feel like even that 
is a lot better for my hair than using this one so yeah now i'm gonna move on to this side and as you can see this side is a lot curlier so um the root booster is a smaller brush so hopefully it does give me a more smooth look at the root so yeah let's do this side this one only has um, low and high and cool so it doesn't have a medium heat setting unfortunately and that's something that I don't love about the root booster but I did hear that you can use the hot tool attachments like the hot tool blow dryer attachments they do have smaller ones that you can buy I'm gonna link them down below and you can use them with this one in the medium heat setting so maybe that's something you can try maybe that's something you can look into I have not tried that but maybe I'll try that in another video but I don't know I don't know if I, I kind of want to give this blow dryer a break I kind of want to restore my hair and do a lot of treatments a lot of moisturizing treatments kind of leave it natural a little bit more and use other blow dryers a little bit more than this one so yeah i mean i really thought i was gonna love this one so much but after using it more and more and more i did notice that it was damaging my hair a little bit so just be very careful <laughs> um okay so i'm gonna put this in the highest heat setting because it only has low and high and i'm gonna start doing this side This is the Revlon Roof Booster side, um, the first section. I feel like it looks pretty smooth. My only issue with this one is that it gets way too hot. I feel like I would only use this to touch up my blowout, maybe to add a little bit of a wave, um, some bounce at the end, because this is a smaller brush, so you're able to get more close to the roots. You can do a little bounce. All right, guys, I am back with the Revlon Root Booster side all done. What do you guys think? I actually really like this side. I really like this hair tool. The only thing is that it gets so hot. It gets just as hot as the original Revlon Melissa Hair Dry and Volumizer, and that just burns my hair. And <laughs> that's the only issue that I have with this hair tool. But I really did like the final look. It looks actually very shiny, super bouncy. I was able to give my ends a little bit of a bounce. I like how this side looks a lot more than this side. Here's the Revlon Plus side. It's just like very sleek, but it doesn't look that nice. I like this side better. What do you guys think? Do you like the Plus side better? It's very sleek. Or do you like the Root Booster side better? I actually like this brush. I think it's pretty long and it does grab a lot of hair. It dries my hair very quickly. My hair gets so hot though. It's like even hard for me to like touch my hair because it gets so, so hot. But I really like this brush. And if you compare it to the Dyson Airwrap, it's way longer. I mean, I wish Dyson would come out with a bigger round brush attachment. Even one just like this, like this, but like a little bit longer. I feel like I would definitely use it more to blow up my hair. I just want to try something very quickly. I'm just going to put this in the highest heat setting, highest speed. And I just want to touch my hair with the Dyson Airwrap. I really want to see if it's actually going to make my hair look a lot more healthy.
Okay, so I just touched up my blowout real quick with the Dyson Airwrap. And I feel like it does look a little bit shinier, especially this side. It looks a little bit more shiny and almost like healthier. Like I feel like my hair instantly just looks a lot healthier. <laughs> what do you guys think? I mean, I think this side looks better because of the root booster. I like how this side was looking already even just with the root booster. But now that I've touched it up, I feel like it looks even shinier and even healthier so yeah i mean i like the dyson air wrap i don't love the round brush attachment but it is a lot more gentle on my hair than the revlon hair tool that is it for this video let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and subscribe to my youtube channel if you're liking my videos so far and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much Bye bye